This video will explain how to use the audio trigger feature on Motion View. The audio trigger feature allows you to stop recording live video when a loud noise is heard by an external or internal PC microphone. Loud noises can range to a golf swing or even a hand clap. This saves needless time and trouble of fumbling with the mouse and keys in order to stop recording. To set up the audio trigger function, you will need an external or internal PC microphone and a live video camera. Plug in the microphone and the camera to your computer. And next, click the Config Cams button. As you can see, I already have my camera set up. Now click the Audio Trigger button. A new window will pop up. This is the Audio Trigger window. Click a checkbox that says Stop Recording Video on Audio Trigger. When you click this checkbox, it will enable the Audio Trigger feature. Now select your microphone from the list located in the top of the window. As you notice, the microphone is picking up my voice. To change the sensitivity of the microphone, slide the volume bar to the desired sensitivity. So notice as I go up, any little noise I make sends the trigger feature. If for some reason the default settings are not suitable for the, your environment, you may change the loudness needed to activate the audio trigger. To do this, click the override checkbox and move the slider bar to the desired point of loudness needed to activate the audio trigger function. To set the amount of time to record after the trigger occurs, select the desired time delay on the list located at the bottom of the window. Two seconds should be enough for a golf swing. Okay, let's test it out. Notice as I'm speaking, a little indicator is blinking saying audio trigger detected. So let's return. Let's test this out. Now when I start talking, the audio trigger should set itself and stop recording. Notice it's made a new video.